this just in. To nobody's surprise. Streets of Tarkov runs like shit. Now if you're like me and just about every other human who plays Streets of Tarkov, your game is using pretty much all of your RAM. Now I read some people talking about different settings equals different RAM usage and that kind of clicked in my brain, right? Higher textures equals larger files equals more RAM usage. Lower textures equals smaller files equals less RAM usage, right? So let's test it out and see. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I also stream on Twitch, so come say hi. First, we'll need a baseline. As you can see, use about 4.6 gigabytes of RAM. This is worth the launcher running and the recording software. Now, I have done various optimizations on the PC and the game. If you'd like to follow them, link is in the description to that video. Let's get into testing. So, first of all, we're running high textures, ultra shadows. Now, it would be disingenuous of me to do this in an offline raid, so all of these are online raids. For the video, I'm going to leave in the loading map section so you can see how long it takes. If you keep your eye on the FPS counter, you can also see how it fluctuates as the RAM gets read and used. And you can see the RAM usage as well. Now, something interesting that happened with high textures is it would lag after waiting for players and then skip ahead many seconds into the deploying screen. Now, this doesn't only happen with high textures, but it is way more significant with high textures, as you'll see later in the video. So we start at about 28 gigs of usage, and then it goes down to 27, 26, and eventually it'll go lower and lower until it caps out at about 22, 22 and a half. Next up, medium textures, high shadows. Spoiler alert, shadows didn't change anything in terms of RAM usage. Obviously, it'll affect FPS, so that is a little tricky to test. Another thing, I did make sure to restart my game after every raid, so any perpetual memory leaks are not going to affect our testing. As you can see here, we had a similar experience with it skipping some seconds in the deploy screen, but it was nowhere near as bad as the high textures. So we hit about 19 gigabytes in the loading screen and it significantly lowers itself during the deploy screen. It'll go up a little bit during the raid as you can see here. It went up to about 15 gigabytes, but it won't go much higher than that for the rest of the raid. For the sake of trying everything, we turned MIP streaming on to see what that would change. Now in the loading screen with MIP streaming enabled, we did hit about 20 gigs of RAM usage as opposed to 18.5 with MIP streaming disabled. MIP streaming enabled didn't change too much in terms of RAM usage. It was roughly the same as with it disabled. However, on my machine, it did make the game feel a little bit more sluggish. That is my subjective experience of MIP streaming on Streets of Tarkov. It might be different for you. Definitely do give it a try and see what works best. No, I'm trying to make a video. No, 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 I'm trying to make a video. Video, video, video. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I am trying to make a video. Next, we're trying all low. Now on low, the loading screen caps out at about 15 gigabytes of usage and it'll lower itself as the raid progresses. Here as well, do notice how on low settings, we don't really experience it skipping those seconds into the deploying screen. So it loaded kind of normally here. During the raid, it capped out at about 12 gigs of usage, 12 and a half, and it sat comfortably there until we extracted. So for further testing, I did want to try FSR. Now, I knew this wouldn't make much of a difference in terms of RAM usage. I was just curious how it would affect performance anyway. So we tried it out. This is with uh, FSR 2.1 on the quality setting. Loading map was pretty much the same as it was with FSR off, and you can see that we still experience that slight jump in the deploy timer. Now loading in, you can see that the RAM usage is pretty much what it was with FSR off. That's not really surprising. However, the game did feel smoother and more responsive. 
we can see here, similar to previous testing, the RAM did go up to about 12, 12 and a half gigabytes of usage, just as it did with low with no FSR. So not surprising, but FSR did make it feel a ton smoother. Now you get to experience my wonderful table making skills. Do bear in mind that this is my machine, my RAM. This is how it turned out for me. However, do give these settings a try. See what you can get going. See if you can get the game a little bit more playable. Streets is totally different from the other maps in terms of how it runs and performs. For the other maps, I'd recommend trying to get your GPU usage up to get a few more frames. However, on this, things are a little bit wonky. So, you know, we're going to have to go through testing individually and seeing what we can come up with. However, I do hope that you can take something away from this and that the video is useful to you in some fashion. Even if it's piqued your interest or answered a question or if you think I'm an idiot because I just didn't think about this. But yes, higher texture equals more RAM. It makes sense, right? So, casual advice included, as opposed to every other map in the game, don't run this map on high textures. If you have 32 gigs of RAM, medium should work fine. If you have 16 gigs of RAM, I definitely recommend low. Also, for our friends with 16 gigabytes of RAM, I do recommend you set up a page file. Sadly, in this current state, obviously 16 gigabytes of RAM is not really enough for the map, so we do want some way that the game can page to and from. And some absolute wisdom for everybody. Restart your game after every raid. It's the law.